Scientists classify compounds into several groups, with two of the most important being acids and bases. Acids and bases can be thought of as chemical opposites. The only similarity they have is that both are conductors of electricity. Aside from this, acids and bases are quite different. Acids tend to have a sour taste, like lemons, which contain citric acid, while bases have a more bitter taste. Base substances like ammonia have a slippery feel, while acids do not. Don't taste, touch, or smell any unknown chemical. Acids are the more reactive of the two, ranging from the weak acids found in fruits and juices to extremely caustic sulfuric and hydrochloric acid. When these highly reactive acids come in contact with active metals such as sodium, magnesium, and zinc, they react violently, producing hydrogen gas as a byproduct. Both acids and bases ionize in water. Acids form ions in water not by giving up or gaining electrons, but rather by giving up protons. Protons are positively charged particles that are usually found in the nucleus of atoms. All acids contain a hydrogen atom, which is stripped of its proton when the acid is placed in solution with water. The protons given up by the acid combine with water molecules to form positive hydronium ions. The greater the degree of ionization of an acid, the more readily it will conduct electric current in solution. For this reason, Sulfuric acid, a very strong acid which ionizes very thoroughly in water, is often used in car batteries. All bases contain negatively charged hydroxide ions. When a base such as sodium hydroxide is added to water, the number of negative hydroxide ions in the water increases as the hydroxide ions disassociate from whatever positively charged ion, in this case sodium, they were combined with.